is there any is there any uh, money to be made in powerlifting? If you're at the top, if you're at the top, because a lot of sports in general, again, we, we jujitsu and all those types of things. Jujitsu skills it. don't pay the bills. Exactly. <laughs> only yeah. if you are then, well, well, Ryan. Only if, yeah. But I think he's the yeah. only one, isn't he? Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah. In, in uh, definitely nothing like jujitsu. If you're Gordon Ryan, you can earn a lot of money, right? But I think he's an exception. Well, but, but that's also a lot through his instructionals and his, his entrepreneurial ship as yeah, well. It's yeah. not necessarily through his competing. Yes. That's him just being a knob, basically. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> Get this huge yeah. following. Yeah. You know? I think in powerlifting, you either make money as a coach, of course, definitely there. Um, as a powerlifter, oh man. Like if you used to do for the example, top, for yeah, example, for me. example, right? My coach, right? One of the best powerlifters in the world. I mean, amazing, right? He won the Irish Irish Pro Invitational, so like a huge competition, two grand. <laughs> Fucking! It must have cost him more to get there. Yes. So no, there is no money in powerlifting. Uh, wow. As as That's, as a sport, mental, as a sport. Really. If then, like for example, one of the best right now, like say for example John Hack, uh, one of the best to ever do it. Same competition wise. Not really, but it's all the sponsors and all these things. <laughs> and, his, and his coaching that he offers. But as a competition prize, forget about it. So uh, it's a, a really odd one, isn't it? Because you'd think, I always thought it was a, a, you know, it's quite a big, it's not big following. You know, you see a lot of people fucking deadlift in power. You know what I mean? You see a lot of people generally doing it. Yeah. I, I guess these days, I guess, because you've got social media. It and, seems and, big. And there's money to be made from that as well. A lot of people will just do it for... Yeah, for the cloud, for, yeah. for, for, for you know... Yeah, just, just to say, oh, I've got a 240 deadlift. Yeah, whatever it is. But then yeah. they, they sell their coaching and whatever. That's yeah. how you make money. But yeah, as, fitness as a, models and that do that quite yeah, a lot. They influence they? it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But as a sport, no. Mm, there's no sad, money. There's no money just yet. Yeah, okay. I wanted to ask about performance enhancing drugs in powerlifting yep. and, and the role that plays. And, and I wonder if it's less of a, you know, a big deal because there isn't as much to be gained from doing it. But, Which but yeah. Well, but so, so with, you know, with jujitsu or not even just probably a bad example again, but there's some sport where performance enhancing drugs can be very lucrative because course, it yeah, will, if you win, oh, yeah, yeah. then obviously the prize is, is massive. Yeah. Whereas if you're in a sport where actually the prize isn't that big, is it worth, you know, putting your body through that? But nonetheless, you know, it's, it's an interesting question, I guess. So, so is it, does it play a much of a, much of a role? Oh yeah, it's huge. Because it, powerlifting is not about the price, it's just how strong you are. Yeah, right? okay. That's what people care about. <laughs> so going back to, to prices thing, th there is a couple of competitions in America, that, like the current US Open uh, and the Ghost Clash. You can earn some kind of money maybe like i don't know if it's like maybe 10 15 grand yeah. okay but you're not crazy yeah it's not it's but not a lot for, money, for those you have to be up to the shit what are pds what, yeah poof. i mean so do you get like within the the sport do you have a lot of like young deaths do you have anything like that because uh, if so, so no you... bodybuilding that's more mm -hmm. yeah. because we so power lifters of course there's different people but some really abuse it mm -hmm. but to get strong you don't really need huge amounts. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I guess it's the weight consideration again, right? Because yeah. if you're doing too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would go through the roof when you're weight-wise. You start taking trend yeah. and you're just going to be a fucking tank, yeah. in you? They still do it, but you don't need the huge amounts that you need for bodybuilding. I imagine as well, it, you wouldn't need it for as, as uh, the same amount of time. So if you're bodybuilding, you're constantly trying to get bigger. Yes. Whereas in powerlifting, if yes. you take it once or twice, yeah. you can get to a certain size and maybe maintain that a lot better. Mm. Yeah. So then it's like off it and then you could just stay on testosterone, or, yeah. you know, TRT or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. But it, they, there is a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, <laughs> like, <yes. laughs> of course there is. Yeah. PDs are yeah. very prevalent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with, with that, with, again, this is a bit of a, a weird, weird question, but with your clients that would potentially want to get to the top would they go on it or would you advise them not to i always advise not to yeah because <laughs> one i'm not a doctor mm -hmm. and two is not it's not really healthy isn't it yeah mm. it, it's just not i'm sure there is there is safe ways of doing them i was just about to say though haven't uh, they recently proved testosterone and men over 45 yeah, yeah but TRT that's, 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 that's what that's they different. say that's yeah what, other than that that's different. and i and i believe on that that's yeah you know um, 
but I always, always discourage the use. If they want to use them, I will point them out to a coach who deals with that. That can, you know, yeah, not not to train them, but to actually uh, to focus educate. on the PDs. Yes, a, uh, yes, effectively. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. that's really sensible, really, them isn't it? That's them. really sensible because I think again, if you if you giving people advice on stuff like that and you don't really know yeah you know it's it's one of those minefields isn't yeah. it where yeah. as a coach you probably get in a bit of trouble for yourself yeah yeah for sure you know there's always going to be someone stronger than you so if you're always thinking like that it's miserable shortcuts yeah. isn't it it is the shortcuts it, you, you know, know i can imagine it, again it's when you get to the top that you need it isn't it mm, yeah. you know what i mean if you're if you're still you probably had it before you probably get lads that are, you know, nowhere near through that journey and then yeah. going, oh, you know, I'm thinking of doing this, or I'm thinking yeah. of doing that. Or you probably realize, shit, he's put on a bit of weight yeah. and he's getting fucking strong out yeah. of nothing. Yeah. And he's yeah. taking something that his mates give him down the road. Yeah. He's gone red like a beet tree. Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 <laughs> it looks yeah, like yeah. a big fucking yeah. vein. Yeah. yeah, no, it's true. It is true. It's true though, isn't it? Yeah. You see it all the time, don't you? It is true. But I always discourage it, uh, mainly because I, I'm not an expert. Um, and I know the health issues like they can bring and you just gotta make the decision just why do you want to do them you know yeah. what do you want to achieve with that to be yeah if you want to be at the top of the top of the top of the top you definitely have to do them 100 percent. yeah in my opinion because you know we go to the, even if you go to the top of the tested federations obviously they are being tested but you still think they're cycling probably uh, <laughs> you can, yeah. all right i'll say it <laughs> 